we now learn how to find the formula for the nth term of a cubic sequence. Now, every single cubic sequence out there has a formula that looks something like this. un equals to a n cubed plus b n squared plus c n plus d. And so the scenario that we're going to be learning about here is we're given the first few terms of a cubic sequence and we need to find its formula. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's say we're given the first few terms 4, 14, 40, 88, 164, and so on. And we need to find this sequence's formula. Well, the first thing we do is look at the difference between consecutive terms of the sequence. So from 4 to 14, we can see we're adding 10. From 14 to 40, we're adding 26. From 40 to 88, we're adding 48. From 88 to 164, we're adding 76. We notice here that the difference between the terms keeps on changing. And as a result, we look into the second difference. That's the differences between the differences. Those would be from 10 to 26, we're adding 16. From 26 to 48, we're adding 22. And from 48 to 76, we're adding 28. We see here that the differences still aren't always the same. They're changing. So we go one step further and look into what we call the third differences. And those are the differences between the second differences. So in this case, that would be from 16 to 22, we have plus 6. And from 22 to 28, we have plus 6 again. Now we see that the third differences are always the same. Indeed, they're always equal to 6. Now, when this happens, it means we're dealing with a cubic sequence. So, I'll just highlight that. The fact that the third difference is constant, meaning not changing, that's what implies that we're dealing with a cubic sequence. Furthermore, because we know it's a cubic sequence, we also know that it must have a formula looking like un equals to a n cubed plus b n squared plus cn plus d. And to find each of the values of a, b, c, and d, we need a formula. And that formula consists of four equations. Those four equations are 6a equals to the third difference. The second is 12a plus 2b is equal to the first second difference. The third equation will be 7a plus 3b plus c will equal to the difference between the first two terms of the sequence. So I'll just write u2 minus u1. And finally, the fourth equation will always be a plus b plus c plus d equals to the first term of the sequence, u1. Now, if you weren't familiar with these four equations, you'll want to make a note of them right now. These four equations will always be true as soon as we're dealing with a cubic sequence. So here's how they work. This top equation tells us that 6a equals to the third difference. And so looking at what we have here, the third difference is on the fourth row. That's here. So we can already go ahead and state that 6a equals to 6. Looking at the second equation, 12a plus 2b equals to the first second difference, that's referring to this value here, the first second difference we see in our list, that's 16. So we can now go ahead and state that 12a plus 2b is equal to 16. We now move on to the third equation. We have 7a plus 3b plus c equals to u2 minus u1, which is the difference between the first two terms. Looking at the numbers we have at the top, that would be this first value on the green row. So that would be 10. So we can go ahead and say 
7a plus 3b plus c is equal to 10. Finally, the fourth equation, a plus b plus c plus d equals to u1, that's telling us that a plus b plus c plus d must equal to 4. That's the first term of our sequence. So we go ahead and write a plus b plus c plus d equals to 4. And those are the four equations we have to work with for this sequence. We work through these from top to bottom, and I'll do that starting in the lower left-hand corner. The first, 6a equals to 6, tells us that a is equal to 6 over 6. That leads to a equals to 1. Now that we have a, we move on to the second equation. That was 12a plus 2b equals to 16. And since we now know that a is equal to 1, that turns into 12 times 1 plus 2b equals to 16. That's 12 plus 2b equals to 16. That's 2b equals to 16 minus 12. That's 2b equals to 4. And finally, b is equal to 2. Now that we have b, we move on to the third equation, which was 7a plus 3b plus c equals to 10. Remember, a was 1 and b was 2, so this becomes 7 times 1 plus 3 times 2 plus c equals to 10. That's 7 plus 6 plus c equals to 10. That's 13 plus c equals to 10. And that's c equals to 10 minus 13. Finally, c is equal to negative 3. We now have c, and we move on to the fourth and final equation, which was a plus b plus c plus d must equal to the first term 4. Replacing a, b, and c by their values leads to 1 plus 2 minus 3 plus d equals to 4. That turns into 3 minus 3 plus d equals to 4. And here we quickly see that 3 minus 3 is 0, and so we're left with d equals to 4. Now that we have all four coefficients a, b, c, and d, we can state this sequence's formula. Indeed, we can go ahead and write un equals to 1n cubed, so that's just n cubed, plus 2n squared minus 3n plus 4. And there we have it. That is this cubic sequence's formula for the nth term. Now the good news here is that the method we've just learned, along with these four equations, will work for any cubic sequence. In other words, as soon as we're dealing with a sequence of numbers in which the third difference is a non-zero constant number, meaning the third difference never changes, then we're dealing with a cubic sequence, which means that it must have this formula, a n cubed plus b n squared plus c n plus d. In turn, it means that we can use these four equations. Let's go ahead and look at one more example. Let's say we have to find the formula for the sequence negative 1, 2, 17, 50, 107, and so on. Well, the first thing we do is look at the differences between the terms. From negative 1 to 2, we're adding 3. From 2 to 17, we're adding 15. From 17 to 50, we're adding 33, and from 50 to 107, we're adding 57. Since we're never adding the same amount, meaning the differences keep on changing, we look into the second differences. And the second differences would be from 3 to 15, we're adding 12. From 15 to 33, we're adding 18. From 33 to 57, we're adding 24. So these differences are still changing. So we look into the third differences. And those would be from 12 to 18, we're adding 6. And from 18 to 64, we're adding 6 again. 
So, since the third differences are constant, meaning not changing, it means we're dealing with a cubic sequence. Its formula must therefore look like un equals to an cubed plus bn squared plus cn plus d. And to find a, b, c, and d, we're going to use our four equations. So that would look like 6a must equal to the third difference. That would be 6. The second equation would be 12a plus 2b must equal to the first second difference. That would be 12, which we write now. The third equation would be 7a plus 3b plus c must equal to the difference between the first two terms. That's the 3 we have here. So I'll just write 3. And finally, the fourth equation will be a plus b plus c plus d must equal to the first term of the sequence. So that's negative 1. We now have our four equations, and we solve them from top down to the bottom. The first, 6a equals to 6, leads to a equals to 6 over 6, which leads us to a equals to 1. Now that we have a, we move on to the second equation. That's 12a plus 2b equals to 12. And since a is equal to 1, that's 12 times 1 plus 2 times b equals to 12, and that's 12 plus 2b equals to 12. Subtracting 12 from each side leads to 2b equals to 12 minus 12, that's 2b equals to 0, so b is equal to 0. Now that we know what the value of b is, we move on to the third equation. That's 7a plus 3b plus c equals to 3. We know the value of a, and we know the value of b, and those would be 7 times 1 plus 3 times 0 plus c equals to 3. That's 7 plus 0 plus c equals to 3. So that's 7 plus c equals to 3. That leads us to c equals to 3 minus 7, and finally, c equals to negative 4. Now that we have c, we move on to the fourth and final equation, which was a plus b plus c plus d equals to negative 1. So we know that a was 1 plus b, which was 0, plus c, which is negative 4, plus d has to equal to negative 1. So that's 1 plus 0 minus 4 plus d equals to negative 1. Now, 1 plus 0 minus 4, well, that's negative 3, plus d has to equal to negative 1. So adding 3 to each side, we find d equals to negative 1 plus 3, and that's d equals to 2. We now have all four coefficients, and all we need to do now is state the sequence's formula. And that would be, un equals to a times n cubed, so a is 1, so it's just n cubed, plus bn squared, that's 0 times n squared, so we don't bother writing it, minus 4n plus 2. And that's it. That is cubic sequences formula. And this is how we would find the formula for any cubic sequence. There we go, everyone. I really hope that helped. If it did, please make sure to hit like on this video and even subscribe to our channel. That really does help us. See you soon.